there everyone, Big Paulie back for a brand new video and a brand new episode of What's in the Poundland Bin. That's right, we haven't bought anything from Poundland for God knows how long, but uh, we've still got loads of Blu-rays in the in the bin, plus loads of tubs or a tub and a half in the storeroom, which unfortunately I can't get to. But we're still going to dig down deep, find out what the bin's going to kick out. Okie dokie. Let us have a little pick. What's in the Poundland bin? Hello, Poundland bin. How the devil are you? I want to go away, Jimmy. Yeah, I know you do. Me too. Right, anyway, for now, we're going to have a look, see what you're going to churn out. Are you ready, folks? <gasps> no, we've still got loads in there. I think I'm going to have to dig down deep on this one. Okie dokie, here we go. <gasps> oh, blimey. It's like the black hole down there. It's like the black hole of Calcutta. Do you know what? I've actually got something. Have I got something? Yes, I've got something. <laughs> Do you know what? It's actually sealed. It's sealed, but it's heavy. It's heavy, man. It's really heavy. <laughs> it's really heavy. Why is it heavy? Anyway. Um, Nicholas Cage. John Travolta. Bad Mums. Let's find out. Upside down. <laughs> Do you know what? I actually forgot that I put this in the bin. Ghostbusters answer the call. Whatever. <gasps> Let's dig out something else. Oh, right down here. Oh, yes. Okay, I've got something else. We can't be having none of that Ghostbuster stuff. Blimey, this one's heavy as well. Oh, I'm glad I threw Ghostbusters. Gutbusters. I'm glad I threw Ghostbusters out. We've picked out a 3D title. Yes, and a 3D title I've never seen. And I hear it's actually good. It's a Tim Burton film. Miss Peregrine's Home for, Pe for Peculiar Children. Ooh, yes. I've actually been wanting to watch that for ages. Tim Burton's best film in 20 years. Great. Get a chance to check out the 3D then. Then again, Ghostbusters was 3D as well, but I'd much prefer watch this one. I think you would all agree as well. OK, so that's the wrapping off. Very nice. Show me ain't got a slip. Never mind. Anyway, let's open it up. Oh, look, we have a digital code. Be quick, people! Quick, get those fingers going! Whoever gets it first can have it. Is there a date? Yes! December 2020, so it should still work. Hurry up, people! Right, anyway, onto the disc. Ooh. We are picking out a 3D disc. There we go, 3D. Nice clean disc. And the standard one. Oh, two different pictures. That's good. Rightio. In we go. There we go. Yes, mate, I'm coming to you in a minute. First of all, though. Got me glasses. Oh, yes, blimey, I hope I've charged them up. Otherwise, I'm going to look a right twat, and I? OK, before we get the film running, which is looking all blurry because it's already in a 3D menu, it's time 
to ask Master Yoda. Yes, okie dokie, what have we got this week then? Um, many of the truths we cling to depend greatly on our own point of view. Obi-Wan Kenobi said that. Don't be too hard on yourself. Regret can be as deep as a sarlax pit, a sarlax armpit. However, if, you, if your apprentice has turned against you and wiped out the whole Jedi Order, you might reasonably think he could have had a better teacher. That said, obsessing about what could have been will get you nowhere. How you act now will have a far greater effect on the course of events. And never give up hope. You may yet have a ghostly reunion with that awkward apprentice at a rousing Ewok party. What? Aidan Christensen. Get out, Aidan Christensen, and put Sebastian back, your knob. Right, OK, let's get on to the film and watch some glorious 3D action. OK, slight snag. I put my 3D glasses on. Uh, bloody battery's run out. <laughs> so I can't watch it in 3D. But I'm charging it up now. So I'm going to watch something on Netflix or YouTube and then come back to it probably about an hour or so so we can watch the film. OK. Why didn't I charge the 3D glasses up? Uh, see you in a bit. OK, brilliant. Glasses are charged, hopefully, for two, hour, two hours. Uh, the menu is looking especially 3D, so let's get into the film and watch Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. This was my first acting job. I was one of the peculiar children. <laughs> right, let's get on to watching the film. Two hours later. Okay, so Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. Yes, that was extremely entertaining. Uh, that had all the hallmark of a Tim Burton movie. Yes, really weird visuals, strange looking objects and creatures and things like that. Uh, basically, the film revolves around Jake, uh, played by Asa But uh, Butterfield, from Ender's Game, which I actually haven't seen with Harrison Ford. He's close with his grandfather, played by Terence Stamp. Uh, and Terence Stamp's character is always telling him stories um, of this home for peculiar and unusual children. And an incident happens with his grandfather that leads Jake and his father, played by Chris O'Dowd, um, sporting not a bad American accent, actually, uh, to go on this journey to Wales um, to find, you know, this old house, old mansion where it was the school for peculiar children, a bit like old Charles Xavier's school. Unfortunately, he discovers that this whole house was destroyed in 1943 uh, by German planes and bombs and that. Um, or was it? Yes, Jake discovers through this cave entrance that actually the house is in a time loop. That's right. It's a time travel film. A bit like Groundhog Day. Uh, because the house and all the children were all killed, uh, including Miss Peregrine, uh, who's played by Eva Green. Uh, they were all killed in 1943 on, on the bombing attack. So in order for them to continue living, they have to live out the same day over and over again on a 24-hour loop. And it makes for interesting watching because you get to see how they change the time, how the loop happens. Uh, now, inside this house are a weird bunch of misfits and peculiar children um there's a young girl that floats like a balloon and has to have heavy shoes to weigh her down there's a couple of twins that wear rorschach type masks scarecrow masks um you have a really young girl with super duper strength that can carry people and push things you have an invisible boy 
Uh, and you also have a young boy that likes to animate dead things and bring things back to life, including people. Hey, it's a Tim Burton film. What was you expecting? And Miss Peregrine and these kids have also been pursued by the big bad villain of the film, played brilliantly, manically, by Samuel L. Jackson. Sporting his M. Night Shyamalan signature hairstyle. So some of the set pieces in this film are absolutely gorgeous to look at. The house is great. It's a really nice looking house. Uh, there's also an appearance by Dame Judi Dench herself. The visual effects are fantastic. Some of the makeup effects, things that happen to people's heads and bodies uh, look so natural, look really great and is just perfect for a, a Tim Burton film. There are some really big special effects in the film as well. Trying to raise this cruise liner, this old cruise ship up, you know, from the bottom of the ocean to actually float again. And there's an absolutely fantastic fight between these two forces at the end of the film, which reminds me of Jason and the Argonauts. Yes, so everything looks fantastic, spectacular looking, great special effects. The picture quality is first rate, so beautiful, so clean. Um, I watched the 3D version, as you saw. The 3D was good. It was really good. There was a lot of depth, a lot of depth in some of these scenes bringing you actually into the film itself uh, and there were like three or four really good uses of like the pop out moments including the scene raising the boat up from the ocean floor uh, and also when it was raining and they stopped the rain and the rain just stopped and it's like it's all emanating out of the screen like surrounding you all these all these raindrops the sound is in DTS HD Master Audio 7.1, which upscaled it to Neuro. The sound was fantastic, really loud. Lots of use of bass and uh, the surrounds were fantastic around the house and through the forest and things like that. As for the actual disc itself, um, obviously we've got the 3D movie here. Uh, we also have special features on the standard Blu-ray including Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children in High Definition, The Peculiar Story, Map of Days, Miss Peregrine's Home, Blackpool Tower, The Hollows, which are some big, massive creatures. Um, some big, massive creatures answering to Samuel L. Jackson's character. X, uh, X Hollows, The Peculiars, Wish That You Were Here, Florence and the Machine, the music video and gallery. So a lot of special features. Um, but so far as entertainment, this was a really good entertaining movie. This is a great Tim Burton movie. Maybe a little bit underappreciated, but uh, it's a really great Tim Burton movie. It's definitely a Tim Burton movie. Uh, like I said, great special effects, great acting, great set pieces, very imaginative and um, just very Tim Burton. So far as like the 3D quality is concerned, um, if you're thinking of picking up this film, I would seek out the 3D edition. That is how you should watch the film. Because like I say, there was a lot of depth, a lot of depth in the film and some really great pop out moments and just immersed you in all of the, uh, all of the action. But uh, yeah, this was, this picked up in Poundland for two quid. This is one of the best finds in Poundland, I'm telling you. Fantastic. So, um, how would I rate it on a scale of one to ten? Um, I'm going to give it eight and a half floating young girls. That sounds wrong. <laughs> yeah, if you've seen the film, you'll know what I'm talking about. Yeah, there she is. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, so eight and a half. Absolutely love the film, really entertaining, just a great two hours. So what are we going to do with Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children? Is it going to go on the shelf or is it going to go in the recycling bit? Oh, do I even need to bleed and ask? Definitely a keeper, definitely. Brilliant, so hope you enjoyed this week's episode of What's in the Poundland Bin? We should do it again soon. Yes, like the video by giving it some thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and share. 
and um, I shall see you all on the next video. Bye!